Hello and welcome everyone to Silver Asset of the Day for the 16th of April 2021, presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Club. So as we get towards the end of the week here, first of all, well done to everybody who's been able to capitalise with us here on the breakouts that we've seen, particularly on Thursday with gold and silver breaking out to one month highs. Copper price is also up over 2%. We've seen energies have a big surge over the course of this week. And it comes back to exactly what we mentioned on the week ahead report and gold asset of the day that you want to capitalize on the fact that we've still got all of this infrastructure spending to come from the USA. That's having a massive impact on industrial metals here. We've seen breakouts this week with silver, with copper, with platinum, with palladium, which we've been able to maximize certainly over the last 24 hours in fact, we bank now 2,000 points across energies, across gold, across silver and copper. So for every one lot that you would be trading, that's $20,000 of profit. For every 10 lots that you would be trading, that's $200,000 of profit. Now all of these are trades that we've highlighted with you, buying the dips that we've seen at the beginning of the week. We told you we were buying gold, 1,727 US dollars per ounce. Today gold, broke out to $1,767 per ounce. That's a 400 point move since Tuesday. Just for gold, silver we've been highlighting with you that we've been buying and accumulating between 24 to 25 US dollars per ounce. Today, in fact, on Thursday, in fact, silver prices broke out to $26 per ounce. All of these opportunities to stack in over the last couple of weeks on these dips lower on the metals as the majority of the retail market has been panic selling out of their metal positions and just waiting on the sidelines. And now, eventually when they get their technical delayed confirmations, they end up FOMOing in. As I've mentioned before, you always want to be early getting into trades, getting in when there's fear in the market, when traders are panic selling out of their positions is where you want to come in and pick up lower prices, particularly on the metals. But now that we've already had a significant breakout and we're banking 2000 points over the course of several metal positions here, and energy trades, the majority of the retail market and technical traders have been on the sidelines, or even worse, they've panic sold at the lows, only to see gold and silver prices break out. We had the CPI data as well in the middle of the week, which again shows you that gold has been utilized as a hedge against inflation. Gold prices are broken out as a result, of course, this week towards one month highs. And we also have the green energy policies in the USA and a big push towards electric vehicles. And of course, with that, we are seeing several industrial metals slingshot much higher as a result of this renewed optimism for these metals and it's just been fantastic to benefit from that. Again, all of these have been highlighted to you on the week ahead commodity reports and gold and silver asset of the day. So I really hope that you've been able to maximize like us and our members at the Gold and Silver Club. It's been an extremely profitable week here yet again for us at the Gold and Silver Club. I'm really going back to Tuesday's asset of the day. I mentioned that the best case scenario really would be for gold and silver to follow through to the upside to have three days of gain. So we've now seen that. We've seen breakouts which have followed through from Tuesday through to Thursday. It wouldn't surprise me to see a bit of a pause here towards the end of the week. Now we've got silver currently trading just below $26 per ounce and gold also now trading at $1,765 US dollars per ounce. You'll remember just going back a couple of weeks ago, we told you that gold was an absolute gift under 1700 that between 1680 to 1700 you can really capitalize and of course the price is up now just under a thousand points or hundred dollar move for gold in the matter of two weeks when we've been talking you through all of these opportunities to buy when the majority of technical traders out there have just been panicking and missed out as usual on the whole move here but be mindful that the technical traders out there will start getting their confirmations now at the top of the move. They weren't early, they're going to start getting their confirmations and this is where often you're going to see traps in the market. So I'm gonna put that on your radar as we get towards the end of the week here. So with that, if you would like to learn the research-driven approach to the markets, learn to trade the same way the professionals do. You want to be utilizing data, market intelligence, understand how the hedge funds, money managers, banks and institutions are trading week to week in the market, know key areas of liquidity. It's very important to know when to bank your profits alongside, of course, your entries in the market. Understand cycles, the daily, the weekly, the monthly cycles in the market. Capital flows, very important. We discussed with you previously about the end of quarter outflows and then the new capital that comes in 
at the beginning of a new month. We've seen that over April. We discussed with you previously from a cycle and seasonal point of view, April tends to be a strong month for energies and for metals. That's definitely played out perfectly. So understanding the seasonal playbook that we're trading as well, will help you massively as well. Alongside that, understand macroeconomics, the intermarket correlations, the ratios in the market, and marry that up with what the hedge funds, money managers, banks, and institutions are doing on a week-to-week -week basis with their positioning in the market. That will help you massively to get an edge. So with that, if you would like to join our community of successful traders, learn the research-driven approach to the market, and join our professional mentorship program, there is an opportunity for you to do so. Just make sure you click in the link below today's report in order to make an application to become a member of the Gold and Silver Club.